Hello everyone! Uh, welcome to my talk on the book review of Stress Less. And today we're going to talk about uh, the impact of words on your own stress level. And I wanted to say also, give the shout out, uh, this is the book Stress Less by Dr. Don Colbert. I know it comes up, the, the print is sideways. I think a, uh, a friend pointed out that might be a Facebook Live issue, not sure. Uh, I'm going to check on that. Uh, anyway, the impact of words on your stress level. Uh, the doctor, he, you know, he's like a primary care doctor, kind of chiropractor guy, and so he's had people come in his office with medical conditions, and some of them he's had to come right out and tell them that they needed to change their words if they were ever going to get better. Um, and sure enough, some of them did start getting better when they chose to change the words that they speak just on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the day because stress can, I mean, words can cause stress to other people to and to ourselves. And, you know, like when we speak out uh, anything negative, uh, you know, that's not nice, we're the first ones that hear it and it causes us stress. And, you know, there's the, the scripture that says death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it will eat of it and so, or eat its fruit. So, uh, we definitely, I prefer to eat life, words that have life over words that have death. Uh, um, uh, one thing is that this book does go into, there are like four different categories of uh, the stress-inducing words. They also, he talks a little bit about the we're using words to alleviate your stress, but I'll just go over a couple, these four categories uh, of words that are stress-inducing, like the cruel and hateful and uh, hurtful words. Because um, basically, if we say those things, we're going to reap what we sow, and we'll take in not only those words into our minds and hearts, but it also affects us physically and uh, in our bodies. And we can get into disease if we keep doing it too much. Um, and we also need to watch TV shows. Um, I don't know if those TV shows that are in the afternoon come on. I'm sure they do. The ones with the, the families all pile on stage and they're fighting and arguing and you said this and, you know, uh, they, next thing you know, there's a big brawl on stage. <laughs> and so... Um, uh, anyway, you know, just, and then we're entertained by that. We're entertained like, oh, I can't believe they said that. Oh, my gosh. Um, so we're entertained by that, and then we also get the cable news. I mean, yeah, sometimes we need to stay a little bit on top of what's going on, but we need to remember a lot of that is on both sides of the fence. You know, a lot of that's a lot of vitriol going on. And, you know, after a while, it, it takes a toll on you just to listen to it, and I, um you know, sometimes you just need to shake it, you know, get your news and shake it off and uh, walk away from the TV. Um, um, so an, another type of uh, category of stress-inducing words are the critical and fault-finding words. Uh, that may be where uh, someone, you know, we may look at someone and go, well, why didn't they do this or why don't they ever do that? But then, you know, maybe it's just something they're just not wired. They just never think about it. But instead, what do, what good things do they do? Like maybe they forget birthdays, but they're there the rest of the time. They do other good things, take care of what needs to be taken care of the rest of the time. So, or, you know, if you just say something, they're there, they'll do it. Um, but maybe they just somehow don't, the gift, thing just doesn't register for them. So that's where we can try not to find fault with people and, and just let it go. Uh, another third category would be called the inconsiderate words. And we do live in a world that's very discourteous. And it's so much better if, you know, we can kind of go back to when we were five years old and all the manners we learned then. And, you know, um, I'll, I'll say one thing, uh, a few years ago I struck up a conversation with a, a, a young soldier in the military and I was shocked because he was saying, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes ma'am, no ma'am, and I, I, I hadn't heard those words in so many years, I was just shocked. So I just want to, I'll give out a shout out to the military for, uh, you know, they really hone in that 
you know, their soldiers are to be very respectful to people. And, um, and so a huge shout out to that. And, and one thing about the good manners, if you can take a, uh, have a takeaway on that is that, uh, it brings order and it also brings respect to people. And the opposite of the order and the respect is, you know, of course, disorder and disrespect. And, and, you know, so when there's disorder and chaos, that, you know, that causes stress. You know, anything where there's disorder and chaos and disrespect, that's going to cause stress for you. And although you can't have any control over what other people say to you, but, but you can control what you say. And sometimes what you say will set the tone of what gets said and may, you may have to re keep repeating it over and over and maybe eventually it'll catch on with people but but we do need to guard our heart with all diligence and um you know and that's how we can do it and, and one way we can do it and um and this book uh dr colburn because i said you know he's a doctor and this one lady brought in her teenage son uh for a checkup and you know he had his headphones on with the loud music and all the bad words and and uh, the doctor prescribed to him to get rid of his headphones, just listen to positive music, uh, positive any kind of shows, and get involved in his youth group in church. And, and in 30 days, he came back and he was a totally different person. And that was just by changing what words were coming into him. So, that was, so in a way, he was kind of guarding his heart there, too. Um, a fourth type of words that cause stress are the complaining and whining words. And that's where we, we kind of have a filter in our, in our mind of like anything that comes in, it just like automatically gets translated a certain way. Like we may have known somebody that, um, it, you know, every time they talk to their boss, they come away, my boss hates me, my boss hates me. And you ask the boss and they have no idea of what they could have said or done. So sometimes we filter things and, and maybe we need to check that um, and challenge those thoughts um, that, uh, you know, d does my boss really hate me or am I just overreacting to every little eye flinch that they make? Um, so anyway, uh, now, going on to words that can relieve stress. Now, now the, there's a scripture that says, Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. So you think about that. When you say pleasant words, you're bringing health. And you're bringing like a sweetness to your soul. And just think of it like a honeycomb. And, uh, you know, so, you know, that's going to help your relationships. That will lower your stress. Uh, because you're having better relationships and and people appreciate that. Another thing you can do are have some positive affirmations. I, I think we've all heard about those, but it's good to, you know, take a step and do those um, because, you know, people can encourage you, but at the end of the day, you got to encourage yourself and just say, I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to do this. You know, so nobody can preach to you like you can preach to yourself. And, um, you know, and they're typically, uh, you may start them out with I am or I have, like, like I am a loving person, or I have many friends, um, I, I love people, I uh, am content with myself, I am worthy, uh, I am patient, um, uh, I pursue what I need to pursue and I take care of what I need to take care of. So, um, you know, and those things... And just kind of, kind of um, think about them as you're saying them. Don't just kind of rush through a list. But maybe um, before you go to bed, kind of, or and when you get up in the morning, just kind of take a couple of seconds with each one and kind of think about it and say it, and maybe say it a couple of times. Um, so those are all things that help. But it, you know, seriously, our words that those are huge uh, in terms of changing our stress and and helping our health so um uh i do appreciate you guys watching and i hope this has been a, a help it's helped me and um if you have any comments you can leave them below i'm going to post this uh live here in just a moment so uh i again i appreciate and hope you guys have a great evening good night